And here we're gonna prepare a corned beef that we're gonna actually make into a pastrami. We're gonna coat it with some regular yellow mustard and then this rub mixture of a tablespoon of coriander seed, a tablespoon of whole black peppercorns, and just grind them up real good. And this is just a standard corned beef. Uh, I, I just got this at the grocery store. <clears throat> so let's just cook this really good. All these sides. You probably could just use olive oil or cooking oil or whatever, but I, I like the, the flavor that, that that mustard gives to it. And then let's the sprinkle this really good with the coriander and the black pepper. You're not going to need any salt because the corned beef itself is salty enough. have to grind up another couple of tablespoons because you want this to be a really good coating yeah I'm definitely gonna have to do another tablespoon of the uh, coriander seed and another tablespoon of the peppercorns you want to get all those sides I still got to do this other side yet, so. Boy, it smells good. Okay, let me grind up some more. I'll be right back. Okay, it's all ready to go. Got the coriander pepper all over it, there, so I'm just going to cover it for now. Let it sit here on the counter. Kind of come up to room temperature while I go build the fire. Okay, we'll be back in a little bit. Pastrami or the corned beef right now on the, the smoker. And I've actually, for this, I wanted to go back and use uh, charcoal along with some uh, pecan wood chunks. So I got a, a, it's called a shaker basket. That way you can fill that thing full of charcoal and some wood chunks and then start your charcoal, you know, just about a half of a half a chimney of charcoal and then place that on top and then it'll burn as it burns it'll burn down and then ignite the charcoal that's underneath of it so it'll go for a long time and then it'll hit the wood and then the wood will go so that's uh, a new method I learned it's called the minion method so I'm going to be using this to see how well that works it certainly gets up the temperature Okay, here we got corned beef, and then I, I, I've learned another method uh, is to put a couple of uh, small little aluminum trays in the front filled with water because that the heat comes up off of that and it comes up. Well, that helps to redirect it. Plus, the water in it helps to keep kind of cool it down a little bit and give it a little bit of more moisture in with the uh, you know in the, the cooking chamber and then I've had this for for quite a while this is a really great thing it's the remote check it's got two sensors so I have one sensor in the front and one sensor in the back and then it transmits those temperatures inside into the kitchen so I can monitor the the temperatures in there if I need to come out here to, to shut the vents down to cool things down I can do that and actually I just had to do that because the temperature got up higher than I wanted it to get up so I just let off some of the excess heat close down the, the vent a little bit try to get that back down the temperature you know normally I do I use the gas but I wanted to try this uh, different because I like using the gas but boy I tell you I'm going through a lot of gas because I like to smoke a lot and gas isn't very cheap and charcoal is so let's see how that works. Yeah, there's four hours on the smoker. 
looks pretty darn good to me. I'm gonna let this cool down and then put it in the refrigerator later. And then in the morning or tomorrow afternoon, I'm gonna slice it up and make some killer pastrami sandwiches. I've actually over here I want to do this because right here probably can't see it too well. I've been carrying some half sour pickles, so we're gonna have half sour pickles with our uh, pastrami sandwiches tomorrow. That should be really good. It smells awesome. Well, here's the finished pastrami I refrigerated it overnight because I want it to be cool so I can slice it it makes it a lot easier for slicing if it's cool and then what I'm going to do is just put the slices back in the pan with the with the juices and then warm that up and then we're going to have this later for sandwiches See, when it's cold like this, it, you can slice it thin a lot easier than if it's still hot. Yeah. Now I like that fat, so I'm going to leave that fat on there. Let's give it a taste. Oh boy, that's good. The smell. The smokiness, the coriander and the black pepper. Mmm. Man, that's good. It'll be great for sandwiches. I smoked this, by the way, uh, it was about four hours. And the uh, the charcoal that I used in, with the with the wood chunks buried in it. That went the entire four hours. It probably would have gone six hours without having to do anything to it. So that worked out really, really well. I might try that again with uh, with other things. It's certainly cheaper than 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 the gas. Okay, it is all sliced up. I'm just gonna put it back in here and warm it up later. But you can see, since I cut it cold, you can slice it. Pretty darn thin. Boy, it smells so good. Okay, there we have it. So, go get yourself a corned beef from the supermarket and crack up some coriander seed and black pepper and smoke yourself a pastrami. Looks good.